Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and yes, I am back with another fashion show, right? Or strap fashion show, I must say, right? So this time around, the subject of this um, strap fashion show is this San Martin or San Martin SN017. So I have done a review, a full review for this particular piece. So I will uh, add a card or something on top of it. Here so that you can find my full review of it right so before we start this strap fashion show let's do a quick wristwatch check today i am wearing another a uh, on loan from a bro so this is the casio oak ga 2110 i think the full model number is and yeah i can't wait to do a full review for this particular piece so please stay tuned right a very very cool piece right so anyway let's get back to the fashion show itself so um, right off the bat, uh, you can see that um, for me, if you are a bracelet guy, the bracelet on the San Martin is the best for it. So I've tried it on another bracelet and it doesn't work. So if you are a bracelet guy, you know what, just get this one and don't even bother to change, <laughs> to change or upgrade. That bracelet is perfect for it. But I am not a bracelet guy, so you guys know that I love to swap out straps on my watches and here we have a few selections that maybe can work for you and it worked for me so it might be working for you right so let's go with the worst first one so first one is this um sand color or beige color whatever you call it from dials and straps so anyway um any uh beige color uh, straps from any makers would do but this one for the samurai i have choose what i have in my inventory so we have this very very thin very super supple 1.2 millimeters uh, strap and you can see that this uh, this is of course the seat, seat belt style strap but with this very very shiny looking uh, material here right? so uh, if you notice that i'm using a quick release spring bar here because i don't really want to scratch up the bottoms uh, the luck <laughs> the lux inside uh, the lux on the watch this is a borrowed watch for that matter so yeah that's why oh thank you very much mr Havin, for letting me borrow this watch for almost three weeks now i'm so sorry that i have to take quite a lot of time uh with this uh this uh this watch so i know you've been missing this one but yeah still i will meet you soon buddy and return this to your to you all right so this is how it looks on uh the watch and i must say that uh the monochromatic color of the uh, of the watch it does give it some very very nice uh, versatility right so let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist okay so let's put the casio oak out of the way and of course this is the perfect size for any uh wrist size for that matter so this is this watch is 40 mil in diameter uh thickness is about 13 millimeters and of course the luck to luck is just 48 makes it perfect uh fit for any uh right wrist size right so whether you are a 7 inch uh, 8 inches or even uh, 6.5 inches it will suit you right so this is how it looks on my on my wrist and i think it looks awesome right okay okay so let's go to strap number two. Oh, okay so let's just show a bit of wrist roll and yep strap number two which is this super duper cool lux nito from lovewatchstrap.com so i featured i featured um love products uh, love watch strap product many many times in my channel and you you guys know that i really really like this one so especially because of this again similar material to that one the, the first one but this one this time around the um the design is a bit different to where just now we have a fixed keeper but this one has a floating keeper here in the middle and i'll show you how it looks on my wrist later on of course we're gonna have that um, last sign logo up top we have a brush keeper here fix keeper here and also a signed uh, keeper here with that with that skeleton logo a i think this is uh, the he taken uh, the owner of the lovewatchstrap.com is a fan of the anime um, what is that uh, one piece <laughs> one piece anime and yes uh, that is very very cool and of course the holes are in circular which is my preference rather than the rectangular uh, holes because i think rectangular holes can fray much easier compared to um, this circular pattern and at the end of this um, 
strap they the owner have choose to make it into a v shape right so let's see how it looks on my uh, wrist again so it's quite easy guys to put this one on so you put it on the holes that you want and you can see how it differs from other strap so other straps that uh, for, for example the one that you see just now i have to fold it back like so right so but for this one i don't want if i can if i can of course i can just fold it like so but on this one you can just do that and just <laughs> just 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 take this second the keeper and it will look like so so very very nice solution that you don't have to fold the end of the strap but of course and good design in my opinion and makes it very very easy to use right so of course they have tons of other colors as well so i think i've had the uh, blue one the gray or i think oh i think yeah blue and gray i uh, know the, the the vintage bond color this one is in the in the modern bond modern bond color and this was it's in this one is in black so quite a lot of um, choice that you can have in the uh, life watch strap uh, website right so so that is this the Lux Nato from uh, lovewatchstrap.com so let's go to strap number three which is this elastico style or, or elastico strap from again from lovewatchstrap.com a company based on singapore so thank you very much uh, to the owner of love watch straps which uh, has which which has kindly generously providing all these uh, very very cool straps for uh, for the past i think two years I, don't know, I know him anyway so let's get back to the strap so this is of course the elastic style strap that you uh, may may love anyway uh, already so this is of course the uh, uh, sign buckle or can you call this a buckle or, or should you just should we just call it a hook all right so we have a brush finishing here and again all the you know the straps uh, hardware on the strap is uh, brush so you can see it is much very very easy to put this uh, strap on we just put it like so and pull it and boom you can easily adjust it whenever you feel is if let's say you are a bit too tight so you can just pull it so to make it loose if you think that it's a bit too loose so you can just pull it up like so 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 it this is one of the most comfortable uh, watch strap design that i found in the market today and for the money that they charge for it i can't remember how much maybe about 20 or 30 us dollars this is one of the best uh strap in the market in my opinion right so of course they come with tons of colors i've reviewed so many of them as of now so we have this vintage bond or that one is vintage uh, so that one is modern bond this one i totally forgot the name that he chose to put on his website i think it's still a bond yeah there are tons of variation i think we have uh phoenix bond and something like that so very very nice uh, lots of choice that you can uh, get from love watch right? welcome of course i will have a uh, i will have the link for purchase put inside the, the the description below and of course i will leave a discount code as well right so let's go to strap number four which is the super duper cool Cordura two piece strap from vario singapore again i went from vario has provided me with tons of strap for me to review all these years thank you very much ivan and yes you can see that this is a very very cool and nice strap uh, especially i really prefer i really really like this one we have a sign um vario uh buckle up top and we have this uh, very very nice zulu style keepers with a brush finishing and we have a leather uh, on top so that it will match the black and white uh, pattern black and white color uh, way of this particular watch right so but there is a word of caution though this uh, watch case right so it doesn't have really quite a lot of ex uh, excess for you you can see that this <laughs> this part of the uh, leather has brushed against the case so you can see that it will pick up some fiber dust inside there so you might want to you know what be considerate when you want to pick straps for your sand mountain as well so you can see that there is a bit of scrapes there so i don't really mind it but some of you guys might do so this is just a caution if you guys want to choose this style of uh, or strap for your Saint Martin as well right so that is how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist I think brown black works really really well with this 
uh, Saint Martin aesthetic in my opinion and yes it kind of bugs me when we have that right so anyway so that is it is what it is guys it is what it is alright so let's go to strap number 5 which is this very very cool um what do you call this uh yeah harry street strap a wool strap from again from various singapore and this is one of the highlights of the products that if that has been made by vario i think they are the only uh, strap maker in the net uh, in the <laughs> in the market that produces this type of uh, finishing or this type of material so i think they have another uh, a more uh, later version for this uh, particular harry street a wool strap so you can see that i've been using this thing quite a lot it's quite a lot of you know um bent on it so <laughs> it's somehow uh, molded to my shape my wrist shape already so we have this very very thick um wool keeper here this is fixed this is movable and we have we have a, a mix uh, a polished vario buckle up top and i think that gives it a um i don't know a quite a weird uh, look to the same more time but I don't really mind it. I think it looks cool. Of course, they have Avario has quite lots of other design of other colors as well, so you can choose from uh, the website, right? So, of course, Vario. I will have a discount code from Vario, which is NM Watch Eight, so you can get eight percent off. But normally, um, Vario will have their discount codes uh, every now and then. So, please do check them out, right? So that for me looks very very nice. What do you guys think? right so let's go to strap number six which is again another product <laughs> from of course you've guessed it another, another product from uh, vario singapore so you can see that this time around this is a very very simple two-piece nato a very very thin nato but what i do like about it is this kind of um, patterns that you can have on it so vario calls this a was it graphic graphic nato straps and they say that these are these are limited edition so you won't find any of this from another makers which is quite true because i've been in this game but a strap game long enough so i haven't seen anybody else uh, doing the same the same exact products uh, as vario so you can i can vouch for that of course we have this vario sign keepers here and a very very simple nice and clean design of course you can have tons of uh, graphic patterns to choose from in their website and we have a stitching here and we have the most importantly these quick release pins to make it easy for you to swap out your strap and ever whenever you feel that you need to change the mood of your um of your style or the, the style that you want you want to go for your watch today right so very very simple just uh, put the pick your holes and you are good to go right so this is how this uh, graphic style netto looks from various singapore looks on my uh, wrist and on this particular watch all right so let's go to strap number seven which is yes you've guessed it another from product from vario <laughs> so right so sorry guys i think i have tons of praise for vario singapore for producing tons of quality products as for us watch enthusiasts so this time around this is the silicon rally style strap uh, so you can see that i've used this for quite some time already you can see that there's a bit of shiny shininess on the middle of the strap uh, the stitching right so the stitching is in gray color but i think it works well with this black and white uh, dial and they are still intact so nothing uh, loose as yet uh, normally when you go for a cheaper solution sometimes this stitching does come out so oh yeah there's a bit here that has been coming that's, that has came out uh, i've had i've had this one for about three years already so that is you know what um, to be expected right so of course we have these two floating keepers here we have a signed um vario buckle up top Oop. on this uh polish uh polish buckle so very very simple a nice solution that uh, you can use for this particular uh, watch right so this time around this end of the uh strap does not uh rub the case and that is so that is good and yeah this is how this for this particular sign mutton i really really uh I really do wish uh, I you know I, I really had to take care of this particular area because it will rub on my on my strap so yeah you might want to take care when you consider 
uh, the strap options for your own Saint Martin right so this is how it looks on my wrist and I think that looks cool so most importantly it makes sure that the uh, strap is glued or <laughs> fits perfectly on your wrist and it is a very very nice uh, silicone strap right so let's go to strap number eight which is another rubber strap so this time around this is the natural rubber strap from borealis right so if you guys are uh, you know uh, familiar with my channel you guys know that i absolutely love this uh, strap rubber strap because i think for i think they sell this they are selling this for about 30 dollars now this is one of the best affordable option to the um, isoframe strap and of course i've used this for about four years or is it five years i can't really remember and you can see that there's nothing broke on this particular strap so there's no leads whatsoever stuck to it this is because the the compound that they are using of course at the back we have this groove so that um it won't uh, when you watch this on your wrist it won't you know, move around and yeah we have this uh, uh what do you call this movable rubber keeper here and we have that borealis logo up top right so, but as i mentioned just now the end of this strap will rub to the case so please be careful when you are using it so for me a dive watch a great dive watch needs a great uh, dive style strap so this is one of the best in the market guys so i don't have a discount code from carlos from borealis but you know what um i don't really mind it because this is a really really great product i've i've used for so long already and i think they make a very very nice uh, high quality product um this strap they have it in black of course in green and blue or was it in camo i can't remember but yeah head on to borealistwatch.com to check out what is in the store for you right so this is how it looks on my wrist and i think a good dive watch needs a great strap so i can't uh, praise this thing high enough right so let's go to strap number nine which is a leather strap yay <laughs> finally a full leather strap i know i know some people say that a dive watch doesn't belong on a leather strap but still guys if you see a leather strap that looks really nice on a watch i you know what just go for it uh, so it this is very very nice a very very simple uh, just a single stitching up top here and we have another stitching here and of course we have another nope there's no stitch oh there's another stitching stitching here so this one is the buckle is unsigned and this is using a horween leather right so you can see that this is a tannery in usa so horween leather usa from 1905 and we have that very very important uh, quick release pin so that you want um you are you can easily swap out things whenever you like and you can see here that there is quite a gap between the whole uh, the the case and the strap so that it doesn't damage the uh, strap and of course this one is from nomadwatchworks.com right so of course you can get a 10 percent discount when uh, you subscribe and when you use the code for yourself right so let's see how it looks on my uh, wrist again oh man this leather is very very nice i'm kind of blown away by it right so let's just put it like so and boom how can you say no to that very very nice leather i think they come in this black color and as and i think they have tons of other colors as well maybe some brown or maybe some tan, tan colors i can't remember all of the uh, uh, variations that they have but they are really really soft it doesn't really they, it doesn't really need any breaking period whatsoever and i think it looks absolutely nice on this uh, san martin uh, sn017 right so let's go to the last strap for today which is this super duper cool um what do you call this sailcloth strap from i want a strap.com again a can another company from singapore that has been supporting me for quite some time now so this is their latest release the version 3 of their sailcloth uh, strap so the previous version 1 and version 2 is a bit thicker um, this one is a fully made from cloth so that is why it's a bit thinner and because of that it, it will have a quite a gap between the uh, case and it doesn't rub <laughs> on the strap which is very very good of course on the back we have this um uh, quick release for you to easily change out your strap so we have the uh, stitching on the keepers itself so uh, of course i have this in blue stitching so they also come in 
red um, I think they can also come in white stitching or even orange I can't remember there are tons of variation of this particular strap so they cost uh, I can't remember maybe 40 bucks now now uh, but you can of course use my discount code of NM watch 10 and on the buckle here we have this I want a strap dot com logo which is a oh my god a time what do you call this time time code time <laughs> <laughs> anyway this is the logo that they are they have been using uh it is a time thing <laughs> quite right so okay so um yeah i you can see that even on my 6.75 inch wrist you it, i'm on the third hole so maybe this is good up until seven and quarter inch wrist i'm not really sure if you guys have a much bigger wrist than mine please do uh ask clement if he has a bigger strap for you or otherwise you can't really use this on your uh, on your watch right so that's all guys um this is my 10 of the selection uh, actually i have tons a lot more straps but if you want to do all of them you, uh, you're gonna the, the, this video is going to be very very long so these are just my suggestion for you guys if you want to you know what spice up your watch game spice up your strap game for your san martin watch or any other um any other watch that has this uh, black and white uh, colorway so if you like if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time stay safe bye bye